So, you know, uh, at Cohen Precision, I mean, we, you know, we have our customers uh, speaking to us all the time saying, boy, you know, we would buy more equipment if we had more operators, more machines to run. And, uh, but the, the, the people are just not there. The trained, educated machinists are not there. And it's the parents, it's the educators, and believe it or not, it's the employers who really don't sell themselves in a more advanced environment, still talk about trades and crafts rather than high technology, rather than advanced education. Uh, so we really need to do a lot more with those three constituencies in particular if we are going to convince young people that there is really no difference between advanced manufacturing and criminal justice, social services, education at a higher education level. We need to put it at that level. In a lot of cases we have students that come in and have absolutely no background in anything mechanical. Other cases we have people that come in with an awful lot of good background that need to hone their skills and prepare for CNC or prepare for metrology where they're checking parts, CMM where corner measuring machines where they can double check their parts and make sure that they're right and double check everyone else's parts and make sure that they're right. And again, we, we do a really good job of giving them a blanket overview of what they may be seeing out in the industry because you don't necessarily know what you're going to be getting when you get out. When I was younger, I worked on, his, he has an older Chevelle and we worked on that. We built a motor for it and you know, sent the motor out to have machine work done. I was interested on how that actually happened. I didn't really know what they did at those shops. And going to school here gives me an opportunity to possibly you know, go try to work for one of those companies. If your job's something you're passionate about, it makes it that much better to go to work every day as opposed to doing something that you don't really care about. Somebody my dad works with suggested this program. I came down here, checked it out, and I instantly liked it. Came here and we started taking a SolidWorks class, which is something I really enjoyed. And we took that and we involved 3D printing with it, which is also very amazing. You basically create what you want from a blank slate. You use your own creative imagination, and it's a very good way to make a prototype so you can so when you actually go to make the real part on like a CNC machine you have a full ability to see what it's like and it helps you a lot when it comes to programming it writing the code all that stuff for it right now I spent three and a half days at Conval which is in, down the street in Summers Connecticut where I do my apprenticeship and then the other day and a half I come here and do CNC and blueprint reading which is very very important core classes that you need to know for machining Part of the reason getting involved in a program like this is to help and you know to help uh, fund and train some of these future employees for our particular customers, which in, in essence we're helping ourselves in the end as well. So I mean that's that's one of the reasons that we participate in this uh, Asnon Tech Scholarship Program. Both Flanagan Industries, which is in Glastonbury, and Delta Industries in East Granby, both have about 20 of our people right now. 20 each. Uh, most of those have come through the scholarship program, through our College Connections program, through the development of young people beginning in high school, 11th and 12th grades, coming here every single day for a period of two years so that we get to know them well and we can recommend them for scholarships with companies like Flanagan and Delta and, and a myriad of others. We do about 25 scholarships annually. Uh, but in those two instances, they took this responsibility seriously. They recognized, more than perhaps anyone else, the great opportunity that they had to develop and be part of a process of nurturing young people who now, after three, four, five years in those companies, are literally superstars. They're 22, 23-year-old young people. They're finishing their associate degrees as a result of having been here, getting the 34 credits that are the part of this program. Uh, and many of them are now going on for their four-year degrees and getting into the engineering environment. So that really is what I envisioned when I started out 15 years ago, that we would be able to make that kind of impact. The scholarship is helping me out a lot. It's taking away the money that I don't have to pay for it anymore. And the school and company working together shows that there's really a demand for more machinists, and especially younger machinists, who can go in there and expand their knowledge, whether it's towards the engineering side or being the head of a shop, it just shows me that there's a true demand for it. Not only do they give me an apprenticeship, but they also give me a scholarship, which is really giving me a leg up, and they're paying for books and tuition as well. In a program like this, uh, you know, these kids come in in a relatively, you know, short order with internships from, uh, you know, from our local manufacturers, and within, uh, you know, two three semesters, they're out there working, making money 
and are incur incurring all this huge college debt. Well, manufacturing is a good paying industry. Um, and and un unfortunately, it's one of the best kept secrets in, uh, in, in uh, the job industry in this country. So when you see a student come in on one side, you see a student that's like a raw material. And when, you, when they leave and they go out and get a job, and it's not a bad job, it's a great job. They really understand why you spend all the time working with them. Is it worth it? Definitely, every day. My whole thrust here is a, a partnership. And, and what I've said from the very, very beginning of this relationship is that I'm a bridge builder. And I'm a bridge builder to two very viable, very important, very integral partners. One being the private sector, the other one being the student. And if I can somehow be that bridge builder and allow people to transition from this program and programs like this to the private sector for long-term careers, then I will have felt that uh, I achieved what I set out to do. I'm very excited about this whole program that I'm into. Um, there's a, a vast opportunity ahead of me and I feel that it's going to be very easy for me to capitalize on it. There's a, you know, whether I get into engineering, say, say you know, the manual or CNC manufacturing side, either way there's a, there's a lot of room for me to grow and that is a, a, a great thing and I'm very excited to get into that and see where it takes me. I like to do a lot of outdoor stuff like hunting and fishing and using all the stuff we use in this shop is something I can bring towards it, especially the 3D SolidWorks where I can actually go out and design like say a fishing lure and make a prototype for it on the 3D printer where I could even take that one day and actually start making my own. My dream job would definitely want to do something involved with the outdoor industry or actually be involved in like boat building, manufacturing part of the side of that. So I enjoy both being on the water and just being outside. So I feel that my ed education here will definitely equip me towards a job that I'll enjoy every day.